Hey everybody. Happy Wednesday. It's Wednesday, not Monday. Happy Wednesday, September 7th. Hope you're having a great day. Welcome to Coffee and a Card. I'm Leslie Benson. If you're new here, um, I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I teach people how to make um, paper crafts. Today we're going to make a, a autumn themed greeting card. So let me turn my camera around. If you're here, please say hello. I'd love to chat. It's boring without any conversation. <laughs> there we go. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. I like to put myself in the corner. Uh, let, I wanted to remind you about weekly deals. They did add a few things this week to the weekly deals. So if you go to leslie.stampinup.net, I'm trying to point to it. Um, there's a little tab. You, you click um, shop now and then there'll be a link to see all the weekly deals. So they did add a few, I noticed. And then also, oh, and these are all only for the month of September. So um, I wonder if it goes successfully if they will continue it because we used to have weekly deals um, all the time when I, 10 years ago when I first started with Stampin' Up. Um, going on 11, no, this is my 10th year. I'm finishing up my 10th year, starting my 11th year. Um, I also wanted to mention the Perfect Partners. They have added, Stampin' Up! has added some dies to coordinate with stamp sets that are in the annual and the holiday catalog. They're called Perfect Partners, and that's another thing you can see and learn more about when you go to leslie.stampinup.net. Click on the Shop Now button, and there'll be a link to all the information about Perfect Partners. I want to hurry up and get the little playful piggies before they're gone. Um, all that is while supplies last and through the month of September only. Okay, my commercial is over. This is the um, bundle we're going to be using today to make our card, but I'm going to teach you a technique. It's from the Rustic Harvest Suite. This is in the holiday mini catalog, and if you don't have a demonstrator um, I would love to ship one out to you. Um, just contact me in the comments below. Um, email me or um, what do you call that? Instant message me and I can get your contact information and we can get a catalog out to you. The bundle is uh, you save 10% when you purchase the stamp set and the um, dies together. I am using the paper as well, the Rustic Harvest 12 by 12 inch paper. I'm also using the Leaf Label and Amber Gem uh, combo pack. So um, I'm using several things from that suite. And this is the card. It's a square card. Let's see, we're going to do some water coloring. Hi, Kay. It's a square card very, um, oh, I don't know what you call it. I think it's kind of a really um, classic looking fall card. You could use it for any occasion, a fall birthday, um, a thank you card, a, a Thanksgiving card. If you like to send out Thanksgiving cards, it would work for that as well. Um, I think it would even work as a sympathy card because it's just um, very classic. Okay, and the technique we're going to use is the watercolor. We're gonna, instead of stamping, we're going to um, watercolor. I was watching our CEO, Sarah Douglas, ye yesterday or this morning, I can't remember, and she was showing a watercoloring technique so with using our water painters, and I thought, well, I would like to try that. Um, my, my, my technique's going to be a little different than Sarah's, um, but it's pretty much the same. 
Um, here's two more cards that I have made using that bundle. This is the one my um, subscribers to my uh, mailing list got. I send out a free tutorial every Tuesday. There's a paper guide in the email that uh, explains how to cut and everything, the sizes for that background. This is another card that I think we did a few weeks ago maybe during Coffee in a Card or my Makeup Monday class um, using this bundle. And then here, I'm not using this image. This is an image from the stamp set, but this is the watercolor. Um, instead of stamping and using coloring pens or markers, I use the aqua painters. So let's get started. I'm using our shimmer white paper and I've got the dies I want to use all taped here so I don't um, lose them. I thought we could get all the water coloring done and then um, while it's drying we could put the rest of the card together. Thank you Kay. Um, so the pumpkin, so simple. Um, it's really an outline image of the um, pumpkin image you'll see here in a minute, but I'm going to take a, a large block. I've got everything over here in my bucket. This is an E block. It's for larger um, background stamps, but it's big enough to hold everything that I want to use today. And I'm using crushed curry, pumpkin pie, a little, no, I did not use, yes, I used the Mossy Meadow for the um, stem. And then I think I used a little Cajun Craze on my leaves. So I have per, I have used these reinkers. And for our pumpkin, of course, I'm going to use pumpkin pie. And I'm just going to put a little bit, I don't need much, on my block. And then I'm going to take this large um, brush. The, the um, water painters come in a set of three in this nice little um, storage case. There's a thick brush, a medium brush, and a fine brush. We're going to use all of them today. And I've already put water in there. Um, so I'm going to squeeze a little water out. Oops, that might be too much. Um, when you're doing this, make sure you keep um, a paper towel nearby. Yeah, that was very juicy. I didn't mean to add that much water, but I think we'll be okay. So I am just, um, in fact, because I want... I want those shaded areas to show, so I do want it to be a little um, more dense, not as watery. <laughs> so I'm going to um, just take that and do this all over again. I'm going to soak up that little bit of extra. And then I'm using our shimmery white uh, paper. It accepts uh, the ink better, absorbs it better, I guess is the word. Um, but it doesn't absorb as much as the watercolor paper, if that makes sense. Okay, isn't that pretty? I'm going to let that dry a little bit, and then I'm going to fill it in with some more... Um, pumpkin pie. So let's let that, um, I'm going to set that aside to dry and I might use my heat tool here in a minute while we do our leaf image. And I'm going to take this and I want this to be a little um, pumpkin pie as well. 
and I need two of these leaf images. And I'm um, wanting to be, I, if you want the veins to show on this image, less is more with the um, ink. But if you'll notice, one of my leaves shows the veins very well. I did it very dry. This one is just, just splashes of color, and they both looked fine. And see, this one was still a little too wet. So I'm going to try this again with drier ink, just so you can see the difference. And it could be that my brush is too wet, too. Woo. Okay, see that when I used a little less ink and not as much water, and you can see the um, the veins a little bit better. But I think it looks fine with or without the veins. And then I'll show you how I added color to it later after that dries a little bit. Um, and I think we're okay with this. I'm gonna do three of the sunflower images. And for those, I want them to be very dry as well because it's such a small image. So I'm not going to add a lot of water to this crushed curry. Hi, Stephanie. Well, aren't you the nice mom? I like to keep a cup of water nearby. And sometimes instead of squeezing the water out of my painter. It says push right here. You can just push it and it comes down the, the pike. I'll just dip it in my um, cup of water too. But I'm just going to add some ink to this image and we're going to do this three times. And I got a little carried away here so I can just use my paper towel. We're going to die cut these out anyway, so that was way too much ink, but I think it'll be okay. I mean, too much water. You just kind of have to play with them. see how that one um, stamped much better because I dried my brush off on my paper towel before I colored in my image. And that one's even lighter. Here's the card. And I didn't need three anyway. I only needed two, so I don't know why I did that. I think when I first did this, I thought I would make uh, three. Okay, now I'm going to take these leaves. They're, um, they've dried a little bit. And I'm going to take some Cajun Craze Reinker. Get my brush just a little wet and just pick up a little paint and see where these dark areas that they were naturally dark. I'm just going to add some of that Cajun craze just to give it a little bit of a, what would you call it? Just a little bit more interest. You know how leaves crackle and turn different colors. And then I'm going to do the same on this other one. This kind of turned out the same as my sample. One of them is a little
There. Now, if we wanted to add some more color, we could, but you just dry in between the, the colors. But I think that's going to work good enough. And is my pumpkin dry? Ooh! I'm going to take my um, heat tool and dry it for just a second. When you're impatient, you can do that. <laughs> and then I'm going to get all of these colors off of here because I'm not sure which pile is which. Okay, and I want to use the pumpkin pie. And I want this to be real watery. Stephanie says, I've never done this technique, but my question is, can you do all the coloring on the stamp first? Yeah, well, let's try it. I think we can. We could add the different colors. They kind of mesh together a little bit more. Did I save a sample? I'm rinsing out my brush here. And I just want this to be real watery because I'm just filling in the pumpkin lightly and I want those dark places to show. Okay. I might just take my paper towel because I don't want those darker areas to fade out and bleed. So cute. I love how it does that. Okay, let's grab a scrap of um, the white shimmer paper and let's try to do it all on one um, paint all the colors on one leaf. <laughs> Looks like I made a Christmas tree. Okay, here's the leaf. Let me clean it off so we get a good starting point. And we're going to take some pumpkin pie. This is real watery. And then let's take a little bit of Cajun Craze. And just kind of add that to our edges maybe. See what happens. Very nice. I like that. Okay, I like Stephanie's idea. So we put both colors on at the same time. They kind of mesh together. This one looks a little splotchier. Definitely that one does. <laughs> all right, so that is all done. Okay, these are dry, so let's go ahead and die cut these out. Let me get my little palette out of the way. I wish Stampin' Up! would have given us two of these little tiny, um, it takes me a minute to figure out um, where it fits. I think I had it and then I questioned myself. <laughs> there we go. Once you figure it out, you figure it out. Okay. Um, oh, we forgot to do our little vines. I thought we were done painting. Now for the vines, all I'm going to do is take some Mossy Meadow. And 
and my fat water painter. And I want this to be kind of watery because I'm just going to die cut out of here and my vinyl my vines will look like they're watercolored as well. So that, let those dry, and then we'll cut our vines out. If we can cut one of our leaves out here. I love this leaf, Stephanie. Good idea. <laughs> and it even shows some of the veins. This technique, nothing's going to be perfect, right? You're not going to get crisp lines. Okay, I'm going to cut these out. Let's see how many I can fit on my... My little mini here. I think I can fit all three of them. Except there we go. There's our pumpkin, there's one of our leaves, and here's one of our sunflowers, and now we're going to do another leaf. Did you all have a good Labor Day? We have a lot of late August and early September birthdays, so we had everyone over for birthdays. And my daughter from out of town came up, so we got to see her and my little grandkids. One more sunflower. Actually, I think I have a sunflower that I cut out earlier, so we'll just use that. So I think we're all done with that. We just need to do our vines. <laughs> Stephanie says she needs to get this set now. I really like it. I always like to get one autumn set every year, and this is the one I chose. Except I think I got two. <laughs> oh, I think it's the Halloween one that I always try and get at least one. I like working with um, all the fall colors, don't y'all? After spring and summer, it's kind of a nice change of pace. All right, so we've got our pumpkin, two leaves, two um, stems, and then I've got another little pumpkin over here, or another sunflower. It just went wackadoo. Where did it go? Oh my goodness. Oh, there. No? Well, I might have to cut another one out anyway. Okay, here's our pieces. This is an eight and a half by four and a fourth, and then I've scored it at four and a fourth, so it's a square card, um, and it'll fit in an, an A2 envelope. I like to do that. Stephanie said that they worked out front cleaning up some trees and rocks. My husband worked on that a little bit too. We're kind of changing up some landscaping. We had to tear a bunch out just to get a good go. <laughs> All right, the paper I'm using, like I said, is the Harvest um, 
is it Harvest Hello DSP? It's 12 by 12 DSP, and I just love this this pattern with the little um, acorns. And then we're going to put, where's my sample? Here's my little sample. We're going to put our pumpkin on there with Stampin' Dimensionals. One nice thing about this um, shimmery white paper, it has little sparkles, which is kind of fun. You probably can't see it on the camera, but in up close and personal, it's got a little sparkle to it. So I'm going to put my pumpkin right in the middle, and then I'm going to take my leaves. One of them, I'm going to put this one behind because I like that last one we did. I always get those dimensionals in my way. There we go. And then this one, I think I'll put right there. So we've got our two leaves kind of peeking out there. And then one of our um, little I think I cut out the same one. Nope, this is different. It's going to add the tiniest bit of liquid glue at the top. Have that. I like it kind of to look dimensional so I don't glue it flat all the way. And oh, I forgot to stamp my stem um, with the mossy meadow but I think it'll be okay. Nobody will know I was supposed to do that. <laughs> Street had AT&T fiber put in and they make such a mess. Yeah, they did that in our neighborhood too, but we were glad that the fiber came because our internet was very, very slow. And my husband works from home and he has a lot of equipment that requires internet so we were glad that Google came oh you had AT&T fiber we had Google fiber they didn't have AT&T fiber at the time we had AT&T internet and it just was really slow okay I'm making a little bow with my um, Crumb Cake Baker's Twine. This comes in a pack of, um, it's called Baker's Twine Essentials Pack. You get all the, the uh, neutral colors. So I am going to put just a dab of liquid glue right there. Okay, then we're going to put our little um, sunflowers down here. i got to find the other one. It hopped somewhere. Weird. Of course it did. <laughs> I just don't know how things like that disappear. I might have to cut this one out. It's probably on the floor. I don't know how it would have hopped all the way down there. I was just dumping it out of the bag. Good, good. 
And we're going to put this one kind of over here. I'm just going to, did I put it on a, I put it on a mini dimensional. I love this card. And it's going to be kind of peeking out from behind that pumpkin. I might need my tweezers. I'm being very persnickety about where it goes. Okay, and then we'll put our final, I put a little um, vine behind those. Because if I'm not mistaken, those little blossoms are pumpkin, right? They turn into pumpkins. There we go. Some glue everywhere. Okay. Now, I'm going to put that on a piece of pumpkin pie. This measures, I think this was three by three. Yep, three by three. So this one's three and an eighth by three and an eighth. I just wanted a tiny piece to peek peek out, frame it out. I might trim up my... And then we're going to pop this up on the card front with dimensionals. I'm going to use these bones as they call them. That's probably a little overkill. Thank you, Kay. Is everybody else behind this week thinking today's Monday? For some reason, I, I keep thinking today's Monday, which it should have been yesterday was Monday. <laughs> so there's that and then for the inside of the card I put an extra little leaf and I used the you're such a blessing sentiment and I put that in with memento ink get this straight. Pretty good. And we had one more leaf, so let's just cut that out. And we'll put it in there too. This is just basic white paper. I didn't use the um, the shimmery white. I kind of saved the shimmery white for um, the other stuff. All right, so we'll glue that on there. Oops. And then we can put that on the inside. Okay. 
And that's our card for today. Um, you can tell that my um, watercolor on this was darker than this one. This one was more watery, but it's still pretty. No two are going to look alike because um, it's art. <laughs> I like both of them. Um, and I use the mossy meadow and the stem on this one. I may go back and try and paint that in, but I don't want to ruin my card. Oh, one final thing. The bling bling. I used these amber gems and added a little sparkle. There we go. So that's the card. Thank you ladies for joining me. I hope you have a good afternoon. I'll be back Monday for Make It Monday. That'll be at 2 p.m. Central as well. Um, have a great rest of your week and enjoy your weekend. Happy stamping!